Hello and welcome to Ark, the complete series. We're on Scorched Earth and today we're out in the deep desert. Because I want to tame them little beasties over there. These mantis. I can see them. There. I want to tame some of those because I want to build a base. And I want to just have a look and see just how good these things are. Because if you give them tools, then they'll be, uh, you know, they're supposed to be able to harvest things a lot, well, a lot better than you. But uh, I'm just curious if they're, if they're still as good as they used to be. Uh, so the plan is to tame some of these. But to do that, I need to get myself some death worms. Some nasty worms that are lurking beneath the surface of the desert out here somewhere. I mean, I'm, I'm finding quite a lot of mantis out here. They tend to be lower level ones, I must admit. And I might end up uh, going all the way back to that that cave, because I know, I mean, I've, I've seen a few that were over like level 100 in May. Right, how, how close do we need to get to you lot? This is just weak. We've got a spyglass and I can't tell what level you are. Oh. 45, yeah. For some strange reason the level sucked. Ah, that's why. You're on the other you're on the other side of the virtual fence, aren't you? That's that's actually what the, the actual death worms are for. It's to actually they were put here to actually stop people getting out. <laughs> but I'm not finding any. They're supposed to have a a serious aversion to wivens in particular. They do not like wivens, they hate wivens. So if I wander around on the on the desert floor, they're supposed to be attractive. I mean I don't have like a thumper. You know, the, the clues in the name of a uh, the death worm what it, what it's been called as to where they got the idea from. But since I don't have a thumper to actually uh, attract one of these things, you'd think it would be attracted to the actual noise that this women's making and it's making a heck of a lot of noise running around oh there's a snake around there titanaboa now oh, i'm struggling to find any especially the fact that if you look underneath the map all i'm seeing is the sky i'm just seeing like the inverse of this of this map <laughs> It's deceptive. It's not like it used to be where you could... Uh, I used to be able to literally look underneath the, uh, the desert, if you will, and I could actually see one of these beasties, and I'm not seeing anything. Zip, nada. It's just a reflection of the, of the sky, so... They've done something to make it hard to find these beasties. Wait. So we're going to have to probably spend ages. I mean, there should be some out here, because it's that's deep desert. Um... Where's my map gone? I can always try the southwest, because that's... Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll try the southwest next, and then we'll try the... Probably the northeast after that. And I'm going to need a lot of these blooming horns, because, I mean, you could... As far as I'm aware, you could... Yeah, it's the deathworm horns that they, that they need for taming. Because the, the mantis are a passive tame. But I guess I'm just going to have to spend a long time wandering around and hoping one of these things is eventually going to come to the surface and hopefully Ruby here can take it on. So, assuming I find one, I'll bring you back. Aha! There's one on my tail. Now, hopefully this is not a an alpha, otherwise I'm in real deep duty. You're gonna come up. What, what level is it? Right, it's a normal one. Right. Come on, go on, Ruby. Doesn't look that big, I must admit. I always remember them being much bigger. Now I'm, I'm backing up because when that thing comes out, I don't want to get stuck. Where's it gone? Ow! 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 
Au, 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 au. Au, 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 au. I mean, I've, I've set it on fire, as you can see. Just making sure we can get away. Right, yeah, we can get away. That's alright. Wait, where have you gone? Oi! Where have you gone? Oh no, we're running out of stamina. Tell you what, let's see if we can get our stamina back quickly. Oh wow, she's taking way too much damage here. It's 163 damage each bite. Ah ha ah, ah. ha, is that thing at least bleeding? I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to need bigger guns for this. I mean, she's doing alright, but... So the, the trouble is, she doesn't have any, um, any decent armour. She doesn't have a saddle. Ow, 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 ow. I can see this is going to be an expensive fight. I mean, it's getting bloodied, so that's a good sign. We're not quite at halfway yet. That was an expensive fight. So all of that for one horn. So yeah, she's she's almost lost half of her health. Oh, she got five levels though. Ah. So we're almost at fifteen thousand health. So that's actually better. Now, I have no idea why you get angler gel from a death worm. That's just too weird. That's how we get our black pearls, which is what I need to know. But we aren't getting that much, like, meat, so it's going to be a pain to have to heal her back up. I mean, I'm tempted to get her... ...bring the big guns along. But on the other hand, she'll benefit from getting the levels, so... Hmm... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep leveling her up this way. It's going to take ages, I must admit, but there is that benefit, because she doesn't have that much XP. I mean, the next target's only like six and a half thousand, so yeah, she doesn't have that much XP, and I mean, what I really want to be able to do is level her up, so that I can use her to then go and get better wivens, you know, better eggs. I mean, ideally, I think the best wiven to have is a lightning wiven against these things. But we have to make do with what we've got. So I'm, I'm probably going to end up having to kill quite a few of uh, these things that are wandering around to get a, little, a lot more meat for her so I can heal her up. But each time she'll get better, that's the that's the good thing. Uh, it's going to take a while. Well, since it's night time, me and Ruby have uh, changed tactics. Uh, we're looking for these things. They, they actually stand out from quite a distance. They're really good. It's, it's a lot easier finding these things on scorched earth and their their equivalents on uh, the island is that they just stand out from such a distance I mean see that it just disappears and you just see it come into view look at that you can it's so much easier to find these things and we'll have a quick peek and see what's actually in there hopefully we won't get ganked by a worm <laughs> oh Things we don't need. How convenient. Seems to be the story of uh, loot crates these days. So we are over at 73.5, 12.8. Because that worm we found, we were just along the south of the map. Uh, we've come out all the way out to the southwest now because we're, well, yeah, it's, it's dark. When it's dark, you can see things uh, like these crates a lot easier. We're going to spend our time looking for them, and then when it gets lighter, we'll go back to searching for worms. Oh, crikey, that was extremely lucky. We just about took off, and we found another crate. What are the odds of that? I mean... Look at that. Now we're at... 69.2, 10.2, so literally, the chances of finding two loot crates so close together... Uncanny. Right. Uh, no. Oh, I haven't said that. No. Still nothing useful. 
Well, seeing as the timer has now kicked in, we've got to we've got to wait a while before. Well, we've taken two crates off this uh, map, so I, I suspect we'll have to wait for a timer. Oh well, see lovey. We'll have a bit of a snoop around and see if we do find another one. But uh, funny feeling, it's like uh, the island where you've got to just wait for the for both of them to respawn now. Oh well, go home. Ah, uh, turns out you can get four of these uh, crates on the map at the same time. I mean, I'm quite lucky because there's one quite near my base. Potentially, there's a spawn point there. So could be, uh, nothing fantastic, but uh, yeah, it seems a lot more generous than what's uh, what the island is because with the island you can only get two, and then you've got to wait for both of them to respawn. I think it's something like if you if you empty one of those. Takes 25 minutes before the game will respawn another one, and if you if you manage to loot all of them, you've got to wait 45 minutes for those to respawn. So yeah, just keen to find out uh, any more of these uh, worms because so far we've got three. According to the Dodo Dex calculator, I only need three to tame a Mandus. I mean, I'm at the point where I'm, I'm sort of like taking down a a Death Worm, and I'm only getting enough XP to level her up by about one level. So I'm not too far off 350 melee. I've stopped at about 15,000 health by now. Um, I found a 145 Mandus wandering around. That's the best I've found, so I mean, while I'm, while I'm going around looking for these death worms, I may as well clear out the low level mantis. Did we get XP for them? I mean, why not? But it, I think we lose something like, um. Yeah, I think we lose something like 6,000. Oh, seriously? It's stuck underneath us. Ah! <laughs> uh, that's a downside. If something gets stuck underneath us, we can't uh, back up. That's one thing I do like about these Wivens. With a Wiven, we can back up. I can't do that with other flyers like the like the RG, for instance. But the Wiven can uh, literally back up, which is dead handy. But if you get something stuck underneath you, you can't. Well, one thing I found out is roughly we'll lose something like 6,000 health every time we take down a worm. At least a level one normal worm. We're losing about six thousand in health. It does take me a, a long time to to recover that. But I'm getting quite a lot of um, meat off the off the titanobores. And one thing I forgot is so, sometimes I do have to jump off and harvest the bag. You also get um, was it? I think it's. Uh, Leech blood, I think it is. You also get that off them as well. So there's uh, times where basically she won't actually harvest anything. So I've got to make sure that I I do get that horn. Is it a rough estimate? I mean, I'm thinking I could get about if I get about say like twelve of them. If I can find about say four high level mantis, I think that's a pretty good sampling to go for because they don't have to be perfect. I'm not going to bother leveling them up. And one thing I have found actually is we don't necessarily have to walk along the ground to find one of these worms. Because this, I think it was the second one I came across just popped up while we were just doing this and just hovering close to the ground. Uh, so where are we now? Because we're not too far off the base, we're coming down the east side now. Just have a look and see what level these weapons are. Weapons? <laughs> Mantis. I mean, that's something else you can get. You can get a lot of XP off Mantis as well. Seriously? Oh, whoa, whoa! That wasn't a plan. <laughs> May as well clear these out. But anyway, it's just going to be a case of. Oh, there we go. This better not be a. If this turns out to be an alpha, I'm going to poop my pants. What are you? No, it's not an alpha. 
So we're, we're now hitting for it slightly better, which is... So it means it'll, it'll go down a lot quicker. Uh, I'm probably going to have to start leveling her stamina more. I mean, I, I gave her enough stamina to be able to pretty much just get as far away from another ribbon as I can, but... I have to keep stopping midway through a fight with one of these things. So we're taking a lot of damage while that goes on. Because she just runs out of stamina too quick. Come on. Let's see how far we get this time. You're bloodied. Come on. She's... Oh, there we go. So we just about managed to make it without running fully out of stamina. There you go. So yeah, you get leech blood as well. I haven't gotten any more. It's kind of weird that I haven't gotten any more um, black pearls lately. As far as I'm aware, that's the only way to get black pearl on this map. Very odd. Anyway, we're just going to keep at this. I mean, I could. I could speed things up, I suppose, for her XP by getting those uh, things like Explorer notes, but I'm kind of reluctant to use them on her. I really want to save them for the like the high level weapons when we get them. Because, I mean, and so far she's only getting about 11,000 XP. She's up to 190, so she's getting 40 levels, because that's the trouble with, um, with the weapons, is you don't, you don't tame them, so you don't get a lot of extra levels, and then you level them up further. It's just a one-off. As soon as you hatch them from the egg, that's it. You've only got a certain number of levels after that. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of reluctant to waste any of these explorer notes on her because I know full well I'm, I want to get some better women's uh, later on. So I'm going to go around and have a look for some worms. No, not some. Yeah, well, I need to look for worms, but I need to look for some tight kind of boars as well because I can get quite a bit of meat off them. I think I get something like two or three hundred off one of these. Oh yeah. No, that's about two hundred off that one, so that's not too bad. All I get is point I just get uh, spoilt meat spoilt meat off the whip uh the vultures, so they're no good to me. And I'm gonna have to spend a while healing her up. And then we'll back out for I'd say probably about another eight of these. So this one we've got on the eastern side. It's here in a while. Well, we've managed to get ourselves all of the 12 horns that we need. Now, I'm going by the Dodo Dex calculator and my taming setting on this server. According to that, for me to fully tame a 150 Mantis, I need three horns. So, yeah, 12 in total, because that's all I'm going to go for. Now, while we were sort of zigzagging around the map, <laughs> uh, trying to, you know, see if we could hopefully lure a death worm to the surface, I did find quite a few loot crates. Um, this is all we managed to collect. I mean, we, we, we actually took down a, uh, an actual um, weapon at one point, but yeah, nothing particularly interesting to write home about, I must admit. I mean, there's a few items we've got there that I'll probably throw into the grinder and we'll get some interesting sort of like uh, resources back from them, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've getting better blueprints so far on the island anyway, so don't see me needing to particularly keep any of those to be honest. So the next thing to do really is to get ourselves some mantis. Now they're a, they're a passive team. I mean I've already got some ghillie armor on me anyway. So the plan is we'll use some of this cactus broth. I'll have to make some more. Um, that's useful for sort of like getting creatures that are out there to sort of like ignore you. But there's also bug repellent as well. I'm going to see if I can make some of that. Because uh, the idea is we just want to be able to sneak up to one of these mantis and then stuff its face with a with one of these deathworm horns, and then you know it should like us apparently. But um, although you can go out there and clear the area of any you know nasties that it might get in into trouble with, because I know they have a bit of an interest in attacking vultures for some strange reason. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some fence posts and some walls, uh, basically build a pen. Once I find 
a decent amount of this, and then I'll just get uh, Ruby to pick it up and drop it in. I mean, I have found a 150, a 140, a 145, and a 130 out there. Whether they're still there or not, I don't know. I, I took a note of the uh, the coordinates, so we'll go back there, see if they're still there. And with a bit of luck, we'll be able to start taming ourselves some decent mantis. Aha! Right, so this mantis is still here, so that's a good thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a 145 female, so that's good. Nowhere near where I originally saw her. Ooh, that could be a problem, I don't... That's one thing I do want, is her getting killed by... I don't think she would. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Now is not the time to be getting uh, hassled by a, a giant worm. I'm going to have to lose this worm, and then we're going to have to build our little uh, trap. Looks like it's gone. Yeah, it looks like it's gone. So I'm going to build my little trap, and then basically we're just going to dump her into the trap. See if we can get a tame, but I need to get rid of this worm first. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty determined to so like hold on to you. I mean, I could get rid of it, I suppose. Literally, we could take it down. I don't particularly need another horn. And, I mean, she's not getting that much XP. Yeah, now, anyway, but... Ah, uh, what the heck. We'll get rid of this, and then I'll bring you back once we've got our trap ready. Ah, this is not working. I managed to get rid of the death worm, and uh, then I went back to go and get the the actual mantis, only for another death worm to appear. So I, I didn't want to take that on, so I, I just basically disappeared, came back again, and she was still there. So then it was a case of right, I, I built my little pen here, and then um, it's like three by two. Picked her up and spent ages having to go backwards and forwards until eventually I could drop her into the pen. The trouble is. She keeps she keeps recognising me, she sees me, and even though I've got this cactus broth, can't get close enough to her to be able to just go up and passively tame her. I need bug repellent, but for that you need the um you need citronol and you need rock carrots. And that's a pain. Uh so yeah, I mean I, I went back to base, which is fortunately it's just over there. I, I got myself some extra pillars and some uh, extra gate uh, doors doorways hoping that I could box her in because she was wandering backwards and forwards whereas now she's pretty much boxed in but the trouble is it's not helping I, I really need to get myself some bug repellent the only way I'm going to do that I either, I'm either going to have to start building so like a, a greenhouse and start <laughs> growing that I mean you can do it without but it takes forever it'll turn us to go back to the island Uber. I'll tell you what, I think what we'll do is we'll let her out. We'll let her out of that pen. Because otherwise she'll probably she'll probably just disappear if I don't. Uh, crap. That. Yep, I don't see any choice. It's frustrating. Oh, Uba. Oh, she just decides to go over there now. Right, well, that's all. Well, that's all that's left of that. I wonder. I mean, it's feasible. I mean, basically, um, what what you have to do is you have to sneak up on them. If they see you, then they'll attack you. And the trouble is, if they aggro onto you and attack you, the problem then is you. You lose your taming effectiveness. Oh, nope. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Yeah, I definitely need bug repellent. Oh. Ah. Grr. That's frustrating. Because at first, I, I mean, I was using this cactus broth, and at first I was thinking that she, uh, she was going up to Squeaky. So I put Squeaky into her, an actual cryopod, but nope. Makes no difference. Oh well. We're going back to the island. Right. We've been over to the island. 
And no problems actually getting over there. Well, I say no problems. I mean, I got killed twice by a Capra Suckers just trying to get to the Green Beacon. But once I actually got over to the island, I managed to get back into the base without any problems whatsoever. So that was good. Uh, so I've, I've come back with um, a load of um, sort of like veggies. Uh, I've also come back with some bug repellent as well. Now, the 145 Mantis is gone. I couldn't find it. But there were now three Mantis in the area again. So I... I think it must have either been killed, despawned, who knows, but it is gone. Now, fortunately, this one's still here. Uh, this is another one I found when I was passing through. This one's a 150. I uh, don't know if it's male or female, but it's a 150 female. Right, so we are going to... What we are going to do is we are going to get our bug repellent off you. Some of that. I mean, I could do the trap strategy again. Or we could do it this way where we can. You know it? It would help. There's nothing around seems to be attacking these things. I think all they do is they attack the vultures. But nothing seems to attack them, I've noticed. So, it's a bit of a hassle building a trap and then trying to drop one in using that thing. Another option is to build a smaller trap because uh, that's what you really want to do. You want to sort of like pin them into the... Um... You actually want to pin them into a very confined space so that they don't aggro, aggro you. Oh man, look, will you go away? Seriously, go away. Pretend I'm not here. Oh, will you make your mind up where you're going, will you? Because if you can pin them into a small confined space, then that should be a lot easier. Well, that's 41%. So, yeah, that's right. That we just need um, three then. So, the reason I was trying that trap is just because I didn't have the bug repellent. Pretty much everything around here are all bugs. So I think I should be okay as long as I keep putting this bug repellent on. The only problem I think is going to be the titanobores. It takes ages to, to do this. That's a trouble. Especially like the first feed takes forever. And Murphy's Law will probably get that blowing. Poison Wyvern will pop over here and decide to eat me. <laughs> So I'm just going to keep at this. Uh, hopefully it'll go without a hitch. But I'll let you know. Well, so far so good. Um, I don't have to actually creep around, to be honest, by the looks of it. Um, as long as I've got this bug repellent on and my ghillie, I seem to be fine. I'm just keep. I'm trying to keep up with that. Before I was crouching down, but it doesn't seem to be worth the effort to be honest. The, the big problem was there was a vulture around the area. Then there was like an Arthur Pleura. She, she went after something. I think she went after the vulture, missed the vulture, and hit an Arthur Pleura. Uh, there was a couple of scorpions coming over, so I had to take them out and the Arthur Pleura. But fortunately, nothing seems to have messed up her taming effectiveness, which is good. Ooh. Still not hungry, so we, we only need like a third, third feed. As I say, because my, my taming settings are times six. So it, it should go a lot quicker for me. As far as I'm, I'm still waiting for when they're going to do this update. They're supposed to be doing an update on the servers that makes uh, the taming... I think they're going to double the taming effect. Um, yeah, they're going to double the taming. I think they're going to... Increase XP as well. But that isn't out yet as far as I'm aware, so I think we're still on normal settings. Ooh. I'm going to keep an eye on that bug repellent. I was kind of, hopefully we'll be able to get, it th get through this taming in one go. So you see, I mean, I'm not, I'm not crouching down. It doesn't seem to phase her. It's just because I, I think they're just as long as you. I think the as long as you got this bug repellent on, 
insects will just ignore you anyway. As I say, the ghillie definitely helps. Come on! One thing that's just crossed my mind was that um, I completely forgot you can't breed insects. Ahaha! <laughs> For some strange reason I had it in my head that I, I would be able to breed these so I was going to go after uh, quite a few of them, get a mixture of them and then I'd uh, start breeding them but I, as far as I'm aware, I mean there are males and females but I don't think you can actually breed them. I mean I'll, I'll double check but if that's the case, eh, we'll probably just end up getting a few of them as high level as possible and that's probably it. Hmm. Well, I'll go and look for some more then. Oh now this is handy. We've been round the map a few times clearing out low levels. And over there we've got a yellow male 150. And over there there's a female 145. So I've, I've got enough to do too. So that is extremely handy. To be able to do both at the same time. Sneak up on you. Yeah. There you go. Enjoy that. And you can have one as well. Oh, that is extremely handy, that. Because I've got a 135 that I found. It was a 140 around somewhere, but it didn't. Just couldn't find it, so I, I've just gone for this 145 that I found instead. Problem now is keeping an eye on two of these because they just wander all over the place. Oh well, see you in a while. Hmm. I think it's probably just as well. Hmm. It's probably just as well these things are actually drifting apart. Because otherwise, as soon as I tame one of them, the other, the the, uh, the wild one will turn on it. Uh, uh. You stay there. Yeah, I had that already. There was a, a 135 that I found. And there was a 15 wander around me by. So as soon as I tamed the 135, that 15 turned on it. Let's see if I can get this one then. Then that should be it. <laughs> Come on. Right, pop these into cryopods and then we shall head back to base. So, it seems we've got two 150s, a 135, a 145. Yeah, hold on. Two 150s, a 135 and a 145. So that'll do me. It's a bit of a pity you can't tame them. For some strange reason I thought you could, but now that I remember, what I used to do is I used to tame um, quite a few females plus a male, just for the sake of being able to get the eggs, because he used to need the eggs for kibble at the time. I can't remember what it was you used uh, mantis eggs for, but you had to, you needed the t uh, for taming something. Of course, the kibble system's totally changed now. So the only real interest I've got in them now is just as utility dinos. Right, so I need to head back in that direction, back to base. So, oh, that wasn't clever. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on a on a wyvern. If I'd been on an Argentavis, I'd have fallen all the way down. Right, we're going to head back to base. And, and then we'll take a look at what we've got. Well, we've got all of our mantises back to base now. And I've been trying them out because, well, not surprisingly, it's a case of uh, the one that's actually the lowest level one turns out to be the best um, choice, basically. I mean, we've got two 150s here. Uh, I've got a, one of these is a male, one's a female. Yeah, that was the first one we got, 150. Then we got this uh, 135 female. And then I managed to get a 145 female and a 150 male. But 
This 135 female over here, she's turned out with the best stats. Uh, she's got the best melee, and that's more important for me for the, uh, you know, for like a utility dino to go out there and mine things. Uh, I mean, I think one of these has got the 24, yeah, 2420. So he's got, uh, she, I should say, yeah, she's got the, she's got the higher health. And I'm surprised it's only, you know, she's got like two, three, ten in health. Uh, 1485 in health. Uh, 2090, so that's like two stats. She's pretty much high up, higher up than most. Uh, when it comes to weight, she's got 316 weight versus this one, which is 360. Uh, 352, 338. So she wasn't too far, but these these three all had 211 for melee. I've been increasing them a bit, but um, no, she's she's well ahead. So I've I've been taking her out for a spin, and to be honest, it's more of a gimmick than anything. I mean, it, straight up I ran into a problem, I'm thinking, how am I going to get her out there? She's just too squishy. You know, you've got like Carnos, there's been Rexes and all sorts wandering around here. It, it's way too squishy to take out. I mean, I could pick her up with the Wyvern up there, but then the trouble is, uh, he doesn't carry much. Uh, sorry, she doesn't carry much. Uh, so it's a case of, yeah, she, she could probably like mine a lot, but I couldn't leave her behind. So then I thought, oh, well, I'll use Rainbow, because Rainbow's got a... She's got more weight capacity than Ruby, and she's also got a weight reduction uh, feature. But the trouble is, Rainbow can't pick her up. Uh, it's just like, how did I manage to do all this before? Because it's, it's actually dawned on me, I mean, that now you've got cryopods, so all I've got to do is pop her into a cryopod. And then I can just take her out with, uh, with Rainbow. Uh, we can use her to go and harvest whatever it is we're going to go and get and then you know rainbow can carry it all and i'm just going to put her back into her into a cryopod but as i say she's, she's more of it at this root stage i'm finding she's more of a gimmick because she she doesn't get that much like metal for instance uh compared to say like the angle or she doesn't get much stone compared to the uh, the dodigerous and i mean i can get more even even when i give her this sickle i can get more Finer than she can, but I suppose it's a case of the rates are turned up the gathering, but they only affect me. I suppose that's one aspect of it. I suppose. But I can give her all sorts. I was I was getting really excited. I was thinking, oh, can I give her a chainsaw? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate. So I don't know why. For some strange reason, I've got to put that like a pick, for instance. I've got to put it into our inventory before I can then put it into our hands. I, I can't put it straight into her into her hands. It doesn't work. It just goes straight into her inventory anyway. But it's quite cool because she can go around. You know, she can, she can chop things up and what have you. I mean, her weight capacity sucks, but it's a case of at least I can, I can like just you know put that on a rainbow if I wanted to. So it's not, it's not that bad. That looks really bad. <laughs> just pop them onto you. Uh, is there a metal? Oh, there's a metal node there. So we can go and chop that metal node up so we can get the metal out of that. Assuming she can hit it. That's not so bad. I mean, that's not too bad, I suppose. I mean, that's like 480. Just stuck. <laughs> right, we'll give you, we'll give you that. Well, we'll have these and these. I don't... To be honest, I don't really need these. Right, you give me that back. I'll give you that. One of these days I'll remember. Right, you you stay there. Um tell you what, you 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 grab some of that while I tell you what, um you grab all of that and I'll 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 get a, I'll I'll get uh, rainbow here to pick it up. Man, how do you cope without S plus? Right. Right, you're not overweight. Right, so what am I carrying that's excess? Oh, right. Right, that's that sorted. Right, okay. So, you're not carrying. So, yeah, I mean, pretty much she's, she's like, just like what you call like a jack of all trades and a master of none. So she can, she can do quite a lot. But at, at the moment, because she doesn't have that 
like uh, really high in melee. Just not doing as well as she could. So I suppose as long as I sort of like focus on those two, just like any other utility dino, just keep pumping the uh, the melee up, and then she'll be able to gather resources. It's kind of like a chicken and egg, to be honest. I can I can increase the amount of resources she gets per item, but the trouble is if she hasn't got the weight capacity, you can't carry them anyway. Which seems kind of pointless. <laughs> I must admit, I do quite like her. Um, uh, she's definitely, definitely useful. Very quiet for running around as well. You can barely hear her running around on the ground. <laughs> right, I'll have that back. I'll have that back as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll box the rest of them up into cryopods. Uh, Keep them around as spares, because I say you, you can't breed these, unfortunately. Oh, honestly, let me just go check. Hmm. Here's a thought. I'll just pop you into a cryopod. That might be a bit deceptive. Right. I'd, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty... I'm 99.999% sure that these can't breed. It does say enable mating, but you're not supposed to be able to breed them. But you've got to give it a try. <laughs> right, so we'll just get back to here. So, just out of curiosity, just for my sake of sanity. Right, so you're a female. Enable mating, you're a male. Eh. Now you can see there's no there's no like little um, icon um, there's no text in the bottom saying, you know, mating with such and such or enable mating, so that's I think that dial they haven't sort of like taken it out of the dial, the radial dial. They should have done, but they haven't. Uh, ooh, scary. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll box these three up into uh, in, into cryopods. Uh, we'll just keep them because I can't see what's in here. If I keep them in cryopods, they'll get uh, they'll get XP quicker than if they're just left lying around. But the plan is, I want to go off and start building another base, and I'm I'm definitely tempted to use her. I must admit. I mean, went to all that trouble of sort of like getting one, so hey, may as well use one. But anyway, that's all for another episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this one. If so, then do please leave a like, because that'll help me out a great deal. For whatever reason, YouTube seems to think that if people leave a like on a video, then it, you know, it's a case of people like watching that video. So they push it out to other people, and the assumption that they're going to like to watch that video, and on and on it goes. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more content like this, then yes, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon though, because then you get notifications when I send new content out. If you've got any comments, any suggestions, you want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comment section below. Until the next episode, thanks very much for watching. Bye!